two couples that rented that house before them their marriage is scattered like they they will just have problem and the problem will be so bad that they will fight and leave everything inside the house and move so they are just just see me like so me have to be like which kind of area which kind of area hey god which kind of area I park console <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel so you guys this is another story time so you guys <laughs> god should help us in this nigeria that we are living in because you are contending with different things you are contending with different forces if you live in nigeria so this year november is going to be 10 years that i've been married to the glory of god so while we just got married um <clears throat> My husband was living on the island at the time, was a lucky young man, lucky big boy, so to speak. So, um, <clears throat> me being a let's manage, let's not spend money too much, da da da, and I said, ah, let's look for an apartment on the mainland instead of lucky, um, so that we are not under any form of pressure, right? Um, because at the time he just lost his job like he lost his job I think two or three months before we were married so hmm, I know how looking for house in Lagos eh? <laughs> to get house in Lagos I don't know about now but then 10 years ago it was difficult like so finally finally one of his egg bones one of his um, big um people he looks up to now said i ah, come to our area now we have affordable houses where you guys can start your life and all of that that's how he now got an apartment somewhere on the mainland i don't think there's any point to mention the area it's not necessary <clears throat> so before I, before before we moved into the apartment where we should have been seeing red flags that we didn't see the red flags so the caretaker, the first day the caretaker met the both of us because they were like, oh, they needed to see the both of us. What do we do? At the time, I just said, I, I just became, I just got called to the bar and I was looking for a job. Da, 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 da. So the caretaker now said that ah, he has to go back to the landlord. So when he went back to the landlord, these were the words that he used. I don't know whether because we we're excited, we just got married, I was 22 years old, my husband was in his early 30s, so maybe, I don't know, it's usually, I'm usually very, I pick up things very fast, maybe because of the excitement of just getting married, I did not pay attention to those words. So he said, ah, that the landlord said they've gone to inquire and they said they should not give us the house that we will spoil many things <sighs> we just thought that maybe the caretaker was just talking you know and like i said i don't know whether it was the excitement we're just really we're just really words like we <laughs> just in fact for the first two months of my married life i stayed in my husband's friend's house because we were on this house matter trying to get a house and all of that going back and forth with this particular caretaker <sighs> so after this man told us that they've inquired and they said they should not give us the house because we're going to spoil many things in the house one day <laughs> my husband took people who were cleaners he had friends that actually went to clean the place he just sent the money and deposited the mo uh, money for the rent and the man was not like like there was nothing they could do or i don't know god just i don't know to be honest the man was like what kind of boldness is that, that okay that was when he was saying that ah, the landlord said they've inquired though and they said they should not give us the house so we begged begged begged, begged. Mm, we shall move in second thing that should have been like a like a signal apart from us begging the cat no the agent that was the one who fought for us to get that house i told like that story is just a very sad story himself and his family they were traveling and they all died so it was a, I think a day or two days before we moved into that house <sighs> when we moved to the area like I said I was 22 years old because I got married at 22 and <clears throat> my husband was in his early 30s when only was driving SUV in the area 
You're driving Jeep. What would that move to the area? Like that area was like for retired people, people had retired, or really low, low, low people. Those are the people that were my neighbors and all of that. So and on like if we had moved to like a like if we, if we had retained the apartment my husband was telling us you'd be amongst younger people, you'd be amongst your peers, so to speak. So when we moved to the area, when we moved to the house, three bedroom it was an estate, it was really very nice because I went on to have worse experiences than that place, but I don't know, God just took me through that part to the glory of God. So we moved to that house. It, nice environment so to be honest three bedroom flat all in suites it was good um we we're living there the rent was really really affordable i think the rent was like 200k or 150 that time 10 years ago so hmm. so when we moved into the house the first day i slept in that house and i had a dream and i saw an elderly alahaja woman walking around the compound so for like one week consecutively, anytime I sleep, I kept seeing that old woman walking around the compound. I'll tell my husband, say, ah, babe, see what the, look at the kind of dream that I'm dreaming. And my husband like, yeah, you're thinking too much. You have come, oh, Bini girl. You have come. <laughs> you have come, oh, Bini girl. I beg, I beg, I beg. So, mm. We had stayed for like I think three months there about in the house and these people that used to you know if you live in an estate there are these people who come and collect like estate dues and all those type of things. So there was a particular day that they came on a Saturday, they were collecting I don't know whether it was security, I don't know something about the estate share. So <clears throat> as we were talking because I can be chatty or like I'm usually quiet but sometimes I can just get out of my shell and be just in from conversation with people and all that. So I'm just just with the old baba. So yeah, nah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm just just with the other like, hey, you have not paid for Alahaja's house. And I said, I know there is a, um, I called the landlord's name, there is a man that owns this house. They said, no, this house belongs to Alahaja. To tell them to post, let them just post that or tell them to come out by saying, Mr. Mr. Ma, come and hear something. So they now said that ah, the house is for a large and that don't we know that the house is for a large and I was looking at me, I was looking at him. So that's how we now knew that oh, a larger owned the house, but she she had died, and um, her son came back from America. Um, to come and look over her businesses because she had um, businesses on um, Lagos Island and all of that. So me, I didn't know. You know, I just enter house. So meanwhile, as a newly wedded woman now, a girl, I really didn't have a lot I was doing. I was still going job hunting. I've shared my story about job hunting. Go and watch it. So the only place I used to go to was where I used to make my hair and my old husband's and woman's house. So when I used to go and make my hair, the girl would be giving me gist and the girl was an Isha girl, she was an Edo girl. So she would just be gisting me about the area, ah, that they do jazz in this area very well. Oh. They, they should, you, know, you know, saloon gist now, you will hear things in saloon, you know, like if you want to get underhanded things about an area, just look for those local saloons in the area, you will, you will get the real thing that is going on. So she told me different, she, she was just talking to me normal, like I did not still pay attention, like I didn't pay attention because I just felt mm, just gist. So she was telling me about houses. So my husband's egg born that they, they, they had built their house in that area. The house they were living in before they built their house was like two houses close to where we were now staying. So the gist about that house was that before they moved in to that house, the two couples that rented that house before them, their marriage is scattered like they, they would just have problem and the problem would be so bad that they would fight and leave everything inside the house and move. So they were just just seeing me like, ah, so me have to be like, which kind of area? Which kind of area? Hey God, which kind of area? Park console. <laughs> that was I'm not even going to the Meiji. So I now started going to my my bunking in university. 
when I was in like 400 or 300 level, her dad has a big ministry, so they had one of their branches in the area. So I'll be like, ah, this is my bonkey's father's church, or make they go there because anywhere I am, if my church is far, I'll always look for somewhere around that I can just be fellowshipping the days that I cannot go to maybe church because our church was in town. So one day, one man was a lawyer, or is a lawyer. He would just struck up conversation with me. So I was like, where do you stay? I was like, oh, I was like, I go up in Benin. Ah, he said, my sister. And I said, now that street you they stay. So you know who that's uh, prophetess when they your street. I said, prophetess, they my street. Say yes, now the woman don't put the husband for a bottle. I said, this street. <laughs> I said, this street where me and they stay. I said, oh no. Meanwhile, there was a time that my, hey, that my mama, hey, there was a time that she came to visit. She was not telling me that. Be like say prayer house that is your street. <laughs> I said, Mommy, I beg carry all day, go, you don't come again. He said, No, she know what she did talk. I said, I beg. Mm. So my my people. That's how <laughs> you remember I told you that when I first moved, I used to see old mama. I've told you that particular story. So there's this particular day. Okay, let me tell you the experience that we had in that house. Eh? Things were hard. Hey! Oh, I've even forgotten. So, let me tell the neighbors that I had. I had, so it was a four flat, it was a four flat apartment. Eh? So, we were staying downstairs. The upstairs, the flat upstairs, the man was working in all these FMCG companies, all these um, companies, fast moving goods. So, he was a salesperson. He had two children, they were upstairs. Then, the other upstairs, <laughs> it was a robo man, retired policeman or something like that. They had a deaf and dumb um, daughter that had a child. So the landlord had like his PA that was also a deaf and dumb. So that landlord's deaf and dumb and this other one, they, they had like a relationship. Not they had like, they, had, they were in a relationship. I don't know if they were married. But you see the thing I want to say in that house, eh? It was only those deaf and dumb people that used to do parties in the house. So <laughs> we went there normal. We know they do. As in, we didn't have any celebration in that house. It was always it. And their party, they big go. They go close the street. And people come from all over to come and the landlord will sponsor the party. You know, I didn't see. I didn't take all those things serious initially. I just, I, I could just use and they play like. And I've learned that in that mm -mm, I know they play about things again. I take things seriously now. If I could just play like ah, now let them find out they do party for our house. So any any party this house is deaf and dumb. This deaf and dumb couple. Hmm. Oh, things were so hard for us. Eh? That jeep when I only was a drive for that area. Oh God, it now became like a project where always spending money, spending money, spending money, spending money on unnecessary things. That and it's not that we really had the money because, like I said, my husband had lost his job before we got married, <clears throat> and I didn't, I didn't have a job at that time. So things were hard. Where I'm going, that I'm saying all these stories like that before you move into any house, eh, be prayerful. When they used to say, when I used to hear all those things in, in when I was growing up, I thought it was a joke. So. Hmm. There was this particular day. I I know of this I pray well well. That one as I play well well I did pray well well. That's one thing that you can I do I don't even think I pray now the way I used to pray then. I did pray well well. That's that's why they said they should not give us the house because we we'll come and spoil me to go and spoil me this for the house. I did pray. <laughs> So, <laughs> there was one day we just filmed me and my husband because we used to do Bible study, we used to do all those things together. We just finished doing Bible study, we we're just playing, like I don't even know when the parlor shall. You know, when you have all these um, AC place, AC vents, right? That there's no AC, but they use like plywood to cover it. Mm -hmm. We had that thing. So that night it was around 11. We just noticed that there was a rat that was trying to break the AC vent. <laughs> At first it was a joke. 
So when I like, when I re, you know when you go and work to do now, we just rearrange the panel. Say okay, we we'll go say as this right one and, and the door that we had was a sliding door with a sliding gate. I don't know how to explain. If I I will look for a picture and try and put it. It's like all those ones that you will drag. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so as we just the rats just they try to break it. So we were just even like joking like okay, this rat I'm going to kill this today. It was already late. We stayed up to like one a uh, when it was not able to come inside. We just went to sleep. So the next morning, I said, "Make I go look this rat when they try enter this house yesterday night." <laughs> I said, "I open my sliding door, my people. They pour blood. They just pour blood. <laughs> they just pour blood on the on the door. It's not even open. It's not even look." They look the kind of that they get that me, moi. They get some poor blood on my door. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's not funny, yo. Hmm. I just I don't come out. I say, I can't see you. They pour blood for our. I didn't laugh. God, I just didn't laugh. I don't think it just it just did funny to me. I say, hey, we not even fear like. You, you go with the kind of tenants where you get before you do some kind of things. Huh? I was like, okay. He looked at things. How? Is it the, because we call it I've been at the rats that that was the first thing, no, that's that's the first thing I said, I've been the rats that died in the night. But if rats die, you understand, you will see the maybe the rats in your body, you will see the footprint I be, we not see her. And just our that our door like this, eh? they don't pour the blood. <laughs> so I can carry salt, sha. I just carry salt, pray, put, wash it in. But not before showing drama, because eh, that one is non negotiable. I got shouts for the old part. I when I satisfied the drama that I wanted to ask God, this was just the actress. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, they have got to wash the tea cobots. Ah, wash the tea cobots that. So, the Megad, not up to three days. It come, it, I don't know where I go, Shai. It's on the road. Say, I'm telling you, I'm going to get one thing. I say, I'm waiting with that. He say, she be a new say the landlord get shrine for a house. I say, I don't know. So I don't say get shrine. He say yes, say get shrine and say nine day work up for night. I can't say why you they tell me? Because you understand why you telling me this? Why do I need this information? He say no, say you just want tell me. I say okay, well, thank you. Do you know that the landlord drove that <laughs> after I told me that say it was out of while we they drove the boy away. When the man can't drive the boy come on, sir. He can't go bring a or this um this one's and it's not afar. This I don't know what they call them, but uh, the day when the afar look me, yeah, as I just say I laugh, I said this one go stay here. For the first time, the other neighbors or the deaf and everybody they say, ah no, 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 that how will they go and bring a native doctor to come and be our baker? <laughs> hey, you people. See, I'll say this story. Eh? To the glory of God, we finally left that house because ah, beg. Because there are some things that I'm like, God, I beg. I don't want to be using my spirituality to. There are some fights that it's not really necessary. We shall leave the house, but I will never forget that house because when people used to say that they are bad houses, eh, they are really, really bad houses. And you need to be prayerful, like before you take. Out. When they were telling us, you know, okay, another thing that now made me confirm that that house was actually a bad house. There was an empty flat. The second flat downstairs was empty. Was empty for years. Whether not there the shrine, they are not even know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. So the landlord had a cousin that was a pastor in Winners, and I think because then I used to gather young people, preach to them, and all of them. So his children, his son, was part of the people that used to come. I can't remember. So. One day or the talk, I don't even know. The man just opened up to me that ah, that his brother doesn't want to give him this uh, place. That he's not even saying they should reduce the money that he wants to pay. That the brother said he cannot give it to him because he's a pastor. That they don't want an extra pastor in the house. 
I can't laugh. I can't say be the pastor. <laughs> you must say that you that I say we don't be pastors, so I love pastors. <laughs> hey, so I cannot imagine if I was not prayerful, they would have, they would have wrecked us finish it down. Because I'm, I'm saying the same. Before you move into any house, don't trivialize anything. Pray. Like, pray, ask God for direction. Before you move into any house, before you buy something, just pray about things and ask God for direction because it may just save you. There are some there are some prayer points that we should not, there are some things we should not be disturbing God about. Do you understand? Like, that's what we should disturbing God about. Like, you should have other things that we're asking God for, not those type of things. Do you get so? Bad houses, uh, it's just. It's just um, God. Even when we moved to Abuja, eh, the house that we were staying. So that this one, eh, at least this other house was in an estate. This other, this place was not an estate. It was a village. So <laughs> we they drink pure water. <laughs> the dad said that out of everybody in the area, we're the only ones that used to drink bag of pure water. That would have become we're struggling though this thing that we say we're sleeping on the floor <laughs> so we'll buy bags we'll just buy bags of pure water and keep like because we just moved from Lagos we cannot be drinking we're not used to the area they're very so they say they drink bag of pure water that's our one day let me just round up this story so there was a particular day there are many there are many things that they did in that house so yeah this, this particular um day I was alone. My husband had traveled. Like I said, I was sleeping on the floor. It was a Sunday. I didn't feel like going to church that day. I was just depressed. I was sad because I, I left my job in Lagos to come to this situation that I was in. So, this we just said, try and go to church. I said, I'm not a good church. I'm not interested. So, after like, I just picked up myself, tried took my bad called our friends that they had a car so i went to wait for them on that bridge i followed them to church when i go back from church you guys the place that i laid my head i think i have that picture on, on instagram where it the place i laid my head there was a scorpion where i laid where my head was rested there was a scorpion huh? i said thank god though so if if i had slept there my depression <laughs> The scorpion for Kukuba, and there was nobody with me in the room. I was the only one. But that's not even the thing, no. So it wasn't up to a week after I was in the office. I just got a prompt in that start praying for your husband. I said, ah, it's, a, it's fine now. Like, I'm doing serious work. I beg, I beg, I beg. So just was like, start praying for your husband. So I went to the bedroom. I began to pray. I even had to close. Early dad asked like, let me go home. This one that the Holy Spirit is stopping me. Let me go home. So I went I, 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 I went to the house and my husband said as I was just coming in, he bought fruits from the junction. So he had already laid them and he was eating I as he wanted to put one in his mouth inside the watermelon that I wanted to put in his mouth, there was a scorpion inside the watermelon <laughs> so that time that god was asking me to do this person to pray for him he could have eaten that thing and maybe got him poisoned or whatever that's not a week the owner of the house eh, what kind of sister been a share don't even forget the scorpion went by saying When they, when they saw that that one did not work, then one morning like this, I just wake up. They put candle from my door. You know, and you see, the funny thing about all these things, I used to laugh. I say, look, I grew up in Benin. And I'm not even saying this in a way to say Benin people are diabolical. You know, I grew up in the house of an Ura person. So there's no jazz. There's no, there's no way you want to come from that. Now we're the born of sincere and God protected us from small till now. Say not the work. 
So they can't put the candle, put a make an offer that they said this to divert the prosperity of the person. So I say, how do you want to divert prosperity? Well, me, I'm in my low, I'm in the lowest of my low. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm in my lowest state. Like I, I can't be lower than where I am right now. Are you not saying that like, you, you want to collect the small one when they, every day they wake up say, God? If na me sin forgive me, if na my mama sin forgive me, if na my papa sin forgive me, which kind of embarrassment is this one? It's serious. <laughs> it's never funny. They now spread it on my door. Hey, I look up for I say, what man? They do this kind of thing now. Nah. This time nah, I didn't act drama. I just swept the team, come out to raise it. And everyone, that all of them, they look me as I they sweep. I just sweep up once. I said, you know, they work for my body. So there was there's someone that came and said, ah, hey, barista, this area that they do jazz very well. I say, hey, hey, he said, ah, you be like someone that be past us. So I said, why you talk so? He said, ah, hey, I don't know what that was once I put it up. When they see it's not work, they won't come try to they do friendship. I mean, I'm open to everybody, I'm for everybody, I'm for nobody. When you talk, you don't finish. I say, cause costers cannot stand because me myself, I mean, nami bona mama for whatever cool on that day. So I'm just saying all of this to say that wherever you find yourself, uh, be a person of prayer. So I don't know. Share with me. Do you guys have you experienced bad houses, bad areas? Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in my next one.